All right, class, here's a tutorial to help you out in the first week. I know there's a lot going on. If, if you were in the old system called Loud Cloud, it looks a lot different than, uh, than this. So I kind of want to show you um, the Halo system. You're going to see some tutorials, and I'll show you in a second and give you an example. But this is a good announcement to go over some stuff. But we just transitioned from uh, Loud Cloud to Halo. So those of you that don't know what Loud Cloud is, you'll see some things in the tutorials as I'm getting adjusted to it throughout this year rest uh, for next year. Um, I'm using the same tutorials right now uh, for most of them because the requirements are still the same. The documents still look the same. It's just in Halo, not Loud Cloud. So here are this first week announcements. Um, I haven't posted this announcement yet, but I'll typically email them out to you. I'll post announcements in here. This link and this announcements, announcements in there, I also email it to you. So you'll see here all this uh, in the announcements and also send out to you as well as you get used to Halo um, or even if it's your first time or not. Um, but right here is where you'll see weeks one, weeks two. Uh, usually you'll see two weeks at a time. You can condense it to one week or you can go all weeks if you want to take a look at it. Uh, um, so let's, let's start with the one week. Um, this week's here shows you the tasks that are due. Uh, right here shows you the syllabus. And the syllabus gives you some class resources. It's really laid out pretty nice on um, finding the, the resources to help you out with this. Uh, the study guides, so pay attention here. There's study guides for the quizzes. So you for the first quiz coming up, you can click on these different study guides to help you out. Here's the site uh, reference of the book. So it gives you a good reference. And then you can go through each week as well. So good class resources is interesting and good. You click on this and it tells you right here which assignments are due. Talks about participation. And there's a tutorial on that and I'll show you in a second. And right here, you'll see, here's some resources right here. You'll hear me or not hear me. You'll read some of my posts saying, go to this article and this week's resources. Here, here's where they're at. You would just go to the syllabus, click on week one. Uh, sometimes I'll share the link if it allows me to. Sometimes the links only work in this area. So you'll come here and do the reading, as you can see, for each week. I'll show you like that. So this is it. Here's the book. Anytime you see personality, it tells you what chapters to read each week. So I know this is week two. But let me go back to week one. So for week one. It's going to be shoved down here at the bottom, weeks one through three. Take a look at those um, in the book. All right. So let's see here. Um, I try to show you where the book's located now. So to access the book, it's actually pretty simple. I did pause the video to look to see if there's other areas for it. But basically the book, best way to look for it is if you click on week one or week two, whatever week, you, where it says view resource, you click on it. I don't know if it's gonna ask you to log in or do something, but the book should open up for you. Um, it's a new booking system called BibliU. And so you should see the 10th edition here it is right here. It's actually a very easy way to go through the book and kind of look at it. If you click on these uh, sides, it takes you to the library beginning part or tables of contents where you can find each chapter and see what each chapter is about. Um, you can do search, those kind of fun stuff. So hopefully you're actually able to see that from the book. Um, if not, sometimes the system doesn't allow me to show a second screen, but if you didn't see that, just click on view resource and then you should be good to go. Okay. Um, and then for the discussion forum, um, I always tell students there's two ways to access the discussion forum. Uh, this is one way. Of course, you're not going to have graded, ungraded. Uh, you can go to, go to discussion here. Um, what I always say is, you could also go to the week like this, okay? E either way, 
when you come here, you'll see, you should see my first two posts here. Pay, pay attention when you see this graduation hat. That's me. Okay, obviously you'll know by the name as well. But please click on anything you see of mine, my post just in case. So right here's a tutorial welcoming you. Here's a participation tutorial. And then you can go to DQ2 this way if you want, or you can click on uh, forms and go to DQ2. But if I go to DQ2, you'll see that there's the tutorial for the worksheet that's due. I give you a helpful citation uh, tutorial, and I also show you late policy. Now, in these, because these are helpful uh, posts, if you click reply and just type in, I watched it, or you have a question and just click post, I'll give you one post participation credit for it. Um, does not have to be between 100 to 150 words like other posts replies have to. Anytime it's tutorial um, or me speaking in the announcements like this over here in DQ1, I'm trying to get to DQ1 here, here we go. Um, if you reply to even my announcements or anything that has to do with the tutorial and you say I watched it, you can get participation points. So like on Monday, today, it's Monday, you come in, you click reply to this one, I watched it. Click reply to this second one, I watched it or asked a question. That's two replies. That, that already gives you one day of participation. So I try to make it easy for you. A lot of students will say, well, you're a stickler on things. Yes, but I also make it easy on you uh, by providing this kind of information, okay? So this is just a little bit of a, of a go around on how to go through things. If you didn't see what the book looked like, Sorry about that, um, but once you click on that view resources, it should pop up. If it doesn't, sometimes the Zoom recording doesn't allow me to go to different toggle between the different things, but if, if, if not, it's okay. Just click on that view resources and you'll see what I'm talking about. If you have any other questions regarding this information, please, please let me know and I look forward to having you in class.